The world is fascinated by black holes, the most extreme objects in the universe, and scientists can't stop finding new ones. This time, astronomers discovered the closest one to Earth, called Gaia BH1. The object is a dormant black hole about 1,560 light years away from us, in the constellation Ophiuchus, making it three times closer than the last black hole to hold the record, an X-ray binary in the constellation of Monoceros. Unlike supermassive black holes that usually sit at the centers of galaxies, the new found object, about 10 times the mass of our Sun, is a stellar mass black hole, a much more common type in the Milky Way. For comparison, supermassive black holes can be millions or billions of times as massive as the Sun. Scientists predict our galaxy could host around 100 million stellar mass black holes. Most of the discovered stellar black holes are active, meaning they shine bright in X-rays as they consume material from a nearby stellar companion. Astronomers first identified the black hole using the European Space Agency's Gaia spacecraft. They then made 39 additional observations with six different telescopes around the globe over four months. Using a Hawaii telescope operated by the National Science Foundation's NOIR lab, scientists could confirm that Gaia BH1 was a dormant black hole, thus not active. Dormant black holes are pretty hard to spot because they don't interact much with their surroundings. Thus, we have discovered only a handful so far. A sun-like star is orbiting Gaia BH1 at about the same distance as the Earth orbits the Sun. The study's lead author, Karim El Badri, said if you put a black hole where the Sun is and the Sun where the Earth is, you'd get a similar system to Gaia BH1. Because Gaia BH1 is tiny and not feeding on its companion star, it's a tough candidate to spot. But scientists analyzed data from Gaia spacecraft, which is precisely mapping the positions, speeds, and trajectories of about 2 billion stars in our home galaxy. One of those stars is the sun-like star orbiting Gaia BH1. The research team found tiny irregularities in its motion, which indicated something massive and unseen was tugging on it gravitationally. A black hole was the most likely candidate, but it wasn't clear, so researchers observed the star with more ground-based instruments, allowing them to make more detailed measurements. They determined the star orbited the system's center of mass about once every 186 Earth days. If the unseen object were a star, it would be far brighter than its companion, and therefore easier to see. But there was no indication of a second star in the system. This made the case of a black hole even stronger. However, due to time restraints, it's hard to explain how the system came to be. What's interesting is that considering the mass of Gaia BH1, the progenitor star that imploded into the newly detected black hole would have been at least 20 times as massive as our Sun. Such massive stars usually live short lives, a few million years, and they swell up incredibly before collapsing. Modeling work suggests that such swelling would most probably have destroyed the companion before it had a chance to evolve into a sun-like star. Or, if it survived, it should have ended up on a much narrower orbit than it currently occupies. However, more observations are needed to run to conclusions. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.